Hi, this is Jay from Black Knight Games, and today we'll discuss one of the best tools in a painter's arsenal, the wash. Now, washes are a very watery paint mixture that is used to help you highlight your models. You can mix your own washes by combining paint or inks with water or other substances. Uh, however, when you're beginning, it's, it's a lot easier to start with pre-made washes. Now, just to compare, um, you can see the first line here is actually normal paint. The second one is a wash, and just by looking at them, you can really see that the wash is much more watery. The third thing we're putting down here is an ink, which people often get confused with washes. Uh, they're a little bit different. The ink is a lot stronger. It also dries with more of a shine, and it sort of has other uses, but you could use an ink as a wash if you water it down a bit. Most model paint companies will make washes, including the Games Workshop Citadel washes, Vallejo washes, the Reaper line, the Privateer Press P3 washes, uh, and even small, smaller companies like Secret Weapon Miniatures have lines of washes as well. In this tutorial, we will be using the Citadel line of washes. Washes are one of the easiest and most effective ways to highlight your model. Washing looks great almost anywhere, but especially in areas like fur, armor, faces, hands, and chainmail. Washes are used after you've already base coated the area, so beforehand, you'll need to base coat the area with a nice even coat of paint. Do your best to avoid streaks in this layer of paint to make it nice and smooth as possible. Now washes are very wet, so they'll reactivate any slightly wet paint that's left over, so before applying the wash layer, make sure to allow this first coat to completely dry. Regardless of which wash you use, washing will tint the color a bit darker, so always pick a color that's a bit lighter than you ultimately want to have. Deciding on which wash to use ultimately depends on what look you want to achieve. If you want a clean look, like an Alpha or a Space Marine, use the same color wash as you did with the base coat, or a black wash. You could also use different colored washes to achieve an effect. For example, you could use a brown wash to get a dirty or dingy look, which would look great on models like Skeletons or Skaven. Or you could use a different color of, uh, to tint the base coat a different shade, like using a purple wash on red to get a purpley red color. Washing is very simple. Just apply the wash straight out of the bottle onto the entire base coated area. Use your brush to spread the wash out as evenly as possible, getting every single area. Make sure not to leave any areas untouched by the wash, as these will look strange and untinted compared to the rest of it. Because the wash is so watery, it will automatically pool in the cracks and recesses, creating a great shading effect. If you accidentally pool too much of the wash into a certain area, simply use your brush to spread it out a bit. The brush will automatically suck up some of the wash if you dry off the brush. However, if you still need some help, you can grab some paper towel, and the paper towel will uh, suck up the wash. Once you've covered the area, let it dry. Do not paint anywhere near the newly washed area until it is dry, because if you accidentally mix wet paint with the wash, it can really mess up the area. Washes do take a lot longer to dry than normal paints, so be sure to watch for that. The effect you get is a great highlight on the whole area. There are many ways to get some great effects out of washes. Here are a few of the ways I like to use them. One that I like to do is base coat the area with a very light, neutral color like dent of stone or bleached bone, and then once that's dry, you can use any wash you want, whether it's a brown or a more neutral tone, or in this case, a bright one like blue. Once the entire area is covered, you get a very nice pale color effect. This can be applied to any color, uh, you can see here some examples of purple, red, and blue, but of course any wash will get a great tone out of this. Like other paints, washes can be mixed together to form entirely different shades. In this example, we've taken some Thraka green and put it into our mixing area. And then we're going to add Devlin mud. Once you combine these two colors, it'll end up with a much darker, earthy green tone, which is going to look great on models like Nurgle or, or Skaven Pestilence guys. Using the same technique we just mentioned, you start off with a very light, earthy tone. In this case, it's denim stone. However, you could use bleached bone, or a light brown, or many other different colors. And the final effect is a very gross-looking, pestilence-covered uh, Nurgle Marine here. Washing is a great way to achieve a nice shading effect, however it doesn't have to be used on its own. It can be used with other highlighting techniques, like in this case we're going to dry brush and wash together. Now if you're wondering how to dry brush, we will be covering that in another video, so for now we're going to assume you know how to. Before you wash, but after you base coat, you apply your dry brush. And then, 
once the dry brush is dried, you wash as well. Now this is going to add a third level of highlight because you'll have the base coat, followed by the lighter dry brush color, followed by the darker wash, giving you a total of three tones. One of the biggest downsides to wash is that because you're basically relying on a watery paint to sit where it decides to, you can end up with some sort of streaky looking pools and things like that, especially on flat surface areas. One way to get rid of that, and another way, just like dry brushing, to add another level of tone, is to highlight afterwards. Once the wash is completely dried, you take the original base color, and with a small detail brush, you apply it to the different areas. Now this is really nice because the wash has already kind of shown you where the highest and the lowest points are, so you just use the new paint and color the raised areas as much as possible. In the end this will make a much cleaner effect than just the wash on its own. However, it is a lot more time consuming. Now you can stop here, or if you decide to, you can highlight again with another lighter tone or even another lighter tone. When you look at this comparison you can see how much cleaner the wash plus highlight looks compared to just the wash on its own. Metallic colors also benefit from washes. You can use a black wash on silver metals to get a clean look, or you can use a brown wash to get a more greasy, worn look. When painting brown metals like brass, bronze, or gold, always use a brown wash like Devil and Mud for the best effect. If you're trying to get through the painting process more quickly, washes can be very beneficial. Rather than just doing one color and then washing it, try base coating the entire model first. In our example here, we're painting a Skaven, so we started off with the bleached bone clothing, and now we're working on the metallics. Once the metallics are done, we'll start painting other colors, like the flesh tone of the tail and hands, uh, and other areas like that. Once the entire model has been base colored, then we're ready to wash. Here we're using a Devlin Mud, which is a great wash because brown or black really can go with almost any color. So in this case, a Devlin Mud will, looks really good on the sort of dirty, dingy Skaven. We're applying the Devlin Mud on the entire model all at the same time. In the end, we have a great looking model that didn't take nearly as long as it could have otherwise. So there you have the basics on how to use a wash, as well as some useful applications for it. If you have any other questions, please feel free to message me or leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. This has been Jay from Black Knight Games. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, check out blackknightgames.ca for all your wargaming needs. Till next time, have fun. Cheers.